Hello everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. I hope you had a good Friday and I hope you have a really good weekend, okay? Um, just say thanks to everyone that's sharing the content, sharing the videos, sharing the, uh, you know, the, the, the channel and everything and everything that you're doing to help build this community. Uh, we, are, we have a really well-established um, Telegram group now and there's lots of talk continu consistently in there uh, on various cryptos. I'm also dropping a lot of trades in there. Um, there's been one that we dropped last night, BNT, and that, that's gone really well so far. Um, there's various other projects that we're looking at as well, cup and handles all over the place. Everything's looking really bullish at the moment, like it's everything's picking up, okay? But you should never just assume because of that that everything is going to the moon. Always tread with caution. Um, if we're diving into the Bitcoin chart right now, okay, you can see that we, we're kind of targeting this uh, head and shoulders pattern off its diamond support line here. Uh, you could you could see us potentially break down here okay it's not an exact science it's not a definite we just look at look at all possibilities that, that, that are probable for, for Bitcoin you know whether it goes up or down but um, we just try to bring them to your awareness here guys we are bouncing nicely off the 20 EMA here on the four hourly time frame which is really positive okay we do need to make that higher high here otherwise you may see us roll over form that lower high which would validate this head and shoulders pattern if it was to fall onto this neckline and break the support okay so that's something that could potentially happen guys I'll just make you aware that you you could see bitcoin push up now fail to make that high this high here which was at the head of the shoulders and roll over break through the emas break down sort of test this diamond support line and then lose that and obviously break down even more so just just making you aware of the potential outcome for bitcoin you should always be aware okay you, you you will probably potentially see bitcoin push up now and there'll be a lot of resistance around this particular area this previous high here break through that that invalidates this completely because what you potentially could be looking at as well here we do look to be forming some form of symmetrical triangle right here now okay guys so just here we've got a lot of pressure right in this point so you, you could potentially be looking for a big pop to the upside and i'll tell you why that could be in a moment you can see that this kind of pattern here emerging we've got this tightening range in there so you, you potentially see that push to the upside now which would give us a big pump up to that previous high and the, the, the reason that might come as well i'll show you in a moment so you could see you know two three percent pop on bitcoin and push up break that high invalidate your head and shoulders and then bitcoin go on to make that high and the reason that could actually happen, and I'll show you now in the charts, on the Bitcoin dominance charts, okay guys? So as, as confluence, we could say that that pump is imminent because we're down here. And if you look when the last time we were down here on Bitcoin, okay, we, we were on the bottom of this Bitcoin dominance chart of this symmetrical triangle, which is, we're in a bearish continuation trend, but it doesn't mean that Bitcoin's going to go to oblivion straight away. It's obviously going to have bounces here and there. And you know, th this bounce here, this particular bounce could could take Bitcoin up to 59k. That's how much this this can increment the the, the price action in in Bitcoin. So uh, 79k. Sorry. So you, what you're potentially looking at is is a bounce of support off this bottom here, which we're getting. You can see the last time we have that, we did see that big pump, you know, for the Bitcoin dominance from that test of support down there, and we did see it go all the way up, like 1.8 percent. Okay. So so that could actually happen and take bitcoin above that high invalidate invalidate the head and shoulders then take on the all-time high and potentially get through that just as we're coming into the to, to the apex there very critical time we, we have been targeting this for a long time on the channel now so failing that you, you you know you could see bitcoin push up now a bit of a bit of support okay hit its head on the 20 act as resistance come back down then fall for it and then we could see that alt season we're looking for and then validate that head and shoulders okay but the only the only uh, tread with caution warning I'll give you guys is that you will see the alts bleed as well okay you will see the alts get dragged down as well if Bitcoin goes down like that okay so you you, you know you are looking at head and shoulders on Ethereum you are looking for the alts to get dragged down so so this Bitcoin dominance chart is, is key really to keep an eye on because whatever this does will determine that what's going forward okay so just a quick summary on Bitcoin today I'm just going to take a look at Ethereum for you guys yeah so once again, yeah, I'll just remind you that in the Telegram group there, I am posting update live trades and people are making money in there. Uh, BNT shot up something like 15, 20% or something since I called it. Uh, it painted a beautiful pattern, a rinse repeat pattern, and it, it looks like it's off to the races. I would expect a, a four hour EMA uh, 
20 EMA retest of that though before you was to jump into that. Uh, also, I've been making various videos and different projects, uh, Binance Coin, Chilis. They're all in the channel, so do please check them out, okay? Um, loads of different videos and projects that I cover, but th these are the, the main three that I cover on a day-to-day -day basis, and then the other three in the other update video, okay? So enough wobbling on. This is Ethereum. Coming to the wrong chart here. Yeah? So just looking at Ethereum then, we, we do, like we've spoke about before, we do need to push on now and make this high higher than that. We need to take out that high there, guys, okay? Because if we fail to do that, we are looking at that head and shoulders, okay? And we will break down and we will get down there on that target uh, for, for, for Ethereum because that is looking like a perfect head and shoulders. So do keep an eye on this, guys. We do need to push on. You know, we do need to see Ethereum pump literally from here to take out that high. We need uh, a 6% appreciation of ethereum and we need to get above 1945 okay so i'll drop that on there for you now guys but you know we could see this we are bouncing nicely off support here we are bouncing nicely off these emas you can see that we are bouncing multiple times on up on this neckline so this trade looks like it could be on the cards potentially if you was to see us break down okay lose these emas and then lose that support line with volume you would see us go down to that level guys and that would be a perfect short opportunity you know on ethereum if it was to break that you would be looking to short ethereum for for almost 11 percent there which would be a nice uh short opportunity obviously you can get leverage trading if that's if that's your bag so so yeah it looks like it could be on the cards okay so failing that hopefully you know we do push on now and we do take out this high and then move on to the previous high and we have that mini alt season we've been talking about it seems to just be the same thing day in day out it's just creeping along it's a bit stagnant in my opinion ethereum's a bit boring it's sort of been going sideways now for a very long time you know it, it does need that pop it needs something to happen okay so watch this space with ethereum i'll take a quick jump to, to ethereum versus bitcoin so Ethereum versus Bitcoin, you can see yesterday we were under the under this trend line here and we did pop back above it. We got through the EMA here, the 20 EMA on the on the daily time frame. Again, we do need that daily EMA to be above the red red line there, the, the 55 EMA. We do need it to turn bullish because at the moment Ethereum is caught in a downtrend against Bitcoin, okay? So it is pushing down. You can see each time it comes up, it's, it's knocking its head on resistance and it's getting pushed down, pushed down, pushed down until eventually, you know, you, you could say, look at this as something like a, a falling wedge type pattern like this where we, we are caught in this kind of downtrend and then eventually what you do see when it does pop out is it breaks out of a falling wedge and then usually goes back up to where it fell into the wedge so in case you know in theory this is a relatively bullish uh, indication and we are bottoming out here we are hitting these bottoms here as well so you can see that so possibly possibly we could look at a bounce out of this re resistance here on these emas and see that big push up for ethereum okay and you would see an appreciation if it was to pop out at this point because it does look like it's coiling up it's very close okay so you could see a pop out and that would be a 12 percent percent appreciation uh for ethereum versus bitcoin if it was to get that pop so yeah it's just something to keep an eye on guys okay so i'm going to jump into the cardano chart right now so Cardano, as we spoke about yesterday, it, it is hugging this support line. You can keep an eye on that, guys, in the channel, definitely. I would definitely keep an eye on that. We do have a target up there of 153. I do believe we will get there. Okay, so what what's happened to uh, Cardano? You can see it's gone up. It got rejected off that high there. And obviously, by the hype, sell the news. The news got sold. It's come. It's it's bounced back off the 55 on the on the uh, four hourly time frame now on the EMA. Got the bullish cross there, which is really good. And as you see, it's gone up. It's just got extinguished a little bit, and now it's consolidating. It's bouncing beautifully off this 20 EMA, which is confluence in itself of a continuation trend. So you may see a bit of a pump for for uh, Cardano over the next couple of days, guys. You may see failing that. You know, hopefully we we don't fall through this support line this ema here this this 20 ema on the four hourly time frame because you could see us potentially fall down and, and lose this support line as well before we fall under the ema there and bounce back up so we are looking strong on cardano in my opinion we we are bouncing off this support we've gone up here okay we've got a little bit away from ourselves come back down testing support and you may be looking at another impulsive wave okay and that impulsive wave may take us up to that previous high with another corrective wave before we get that impulsive wave up to set that new all-time high for cardano so it does look really bullish the macd is okay the rsi is sitting in the middle there 
you can see the MACD curling there so that's hence this correction coming back down testing base with EMAs so we're trading round out round about one dollars twenty six so what we'll do we'll drop a Fibonacci on this now on the on the daily time frame just have a quick look to see where we potentially are from that impulsive wave so we formed that impulsive wave when obviously it broke out of that pattern uh, that that uh, falling wedge type pattern that we were, we were caught in on on cardano and we did move up okay so we'll drop the fib off the bottom of that impulsive wave and it, that was the impulsive wave up and then we had a corrective wave down so you can see we're looking healthy okay we, we've only literally gone up impulsive wave corrected down we did sort of wick down on the golden ratio but we have bounced up nicely over the 05 we've gone up and we are sort of back testing this 0382 as a bit of support before we start to move on now because this is the next impulsive wave okay so that's the impulsive wave corrective wave down bounce up okay so you can see that it's just taking its time guys it's just taking its time so you know if we was to look at the next impulsive wave which is forming now you can see this impu impulsive wave is forming okay off this bottom off this corrective wave if we did have the very similar impulsive wave you would see us take out that high and the the, the new all-time high target would absolutely be smashed up i think so if we was to move that up yeah you could see that we're potentially looking at a $1.65 I don't suspect that that in the next impulsive wave will, will actually be as strong as this one this was uh, very much a by the hype impulsive wave okay so you did see us move up quite ferociously there so that move's sort of been extinguished but you, you could definitely definitely look at an impulsive wave something like that that's being formed take out that high and then bounce off that 153 before we do come back down and consolidate on them fib levels again guys so at the moment can i know looks really good it looks really healthy in my opinion for continuation there's no reason why you wouldn't look at it as a continuation trend it looks healthy okay we're bouncing off the the 20 ema we've not quite come down to the to the 20 ema on the daily uh so that is still a possibility we may see that come down and correct but that would be lower than this corrective wave so you will be looking quite bearish on the four hourly especially um so given that you know this may be our retest this this here we've had that retest of the daily 20 ema refueled the rocket ship so, so to speak and now we're moving up in this new impulsive wave because the more you zoom out guys the more you see the bigger impulsive waves and corrective waves so for example i'll go on the weekly and you can see that on the weekly you know that is one hell of a massive impulsive wave on the week weekly time frame okay so look we go from the swing low to the swing high and you can see on a weekly we've absolutely shot up there and we've actually bounced off of 0236 so on the weekly time frame the trend is super super strong super strong there's so much power in the weekly time frame okay so it's always best to zoom out so if we're bouncing off is 236 now what happens is as we move on in these massive impulsive waves so you see that was a really big impulsive wave okay come back down we're getting the correction off that which shows the trends really strong so what you do the, the next wave up starts to extinguish a little bit okay so the next impulsive wave on the, on the weekly time frame let's say it was the same as this one that we've just had you could see that we push it up like that and you could see that we're making those highs up there at two dollars plus but I don't suspect that we will have another impulsive wave as strong as that one on the weekly. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, so that's just Fibonacci. You can play around with it, guys. But uh, yeah, our targets are up there. I do believe that they will get met in this bull run. Absolutely. You know, we'll just switch back to the four hour for a second, guys. Just switching back to the four hour. I just want to tell you where the levels of support are if we was to fall down on the four hourly, okay? You would definitely be looking at a retest of the, the, the 55 ema as a hold up of support okay in this continuation trend that we find ourselves in for cardano so if it was to break down then obviously target that and that currently sits at you can always see if you hover your mouse anywhere you can hover over it to give you a price you know look to the right and you can see it but if you're looking for it you know just put your mouse somewhere else and look to the left and you'll see it says ema 55 close at 120 so that's where the ema 55 sits at and you could see potentially that's where you could break down to if it was to break down okay but we we do look good on cardano keep an eye on this trend line going forward because this is acting as a really strong level of support as we move up along now okay so that's cardano guys so just take a look at cardano versus bitcoin so just diving into cardano versus bitcoin okay if you looked it looks so bullish it does look bullish and i'll tell you why it looks bullish okay because the last time that we formed a bullish cross on a daily time frame for cardano was down here okay see this bullish cross just here for cardano zoom in a little bit for you guys you can see that what cardano did it went up 
there at that high, come back down, fell under the 55 EMA, fell back into this multi-year uh, resistance line against Bitcoin, but then come back up. And when it came back up, it formed a bullish cross. You see this there, guys? That's a bullish cross on the, on the EMA. That's a 55 cross of a 20 EMA. That's a 20 EMA crossing the 55, okay, the lower time frame crossing the higher time frame and creating something called a bullish cross. And you can see what happened there, okay. Cardano bolted up, come back down, tested the support, fell through to 55, okay. Just tested that support line now as support because it had been acting as resistance, remember, on the way up. Fell on it as support, moved back up and surged, absolutely surged against Bitcoin. So if you just take a look at what's recently happened for Cardano against Bitcoin, we'll shoot back up here to the charts, okay, guys, to the top of the charts. So just recently, and you, and you can see, sorry to go on, but just recently you can see as well, from that point, it just kept back testing the EMAs. It never fell through it as such, in a sense that we never formed a bearish cross. Whenever the EMAs got close, they bounced off one another. Just to confirm, just a confirmation of a continuation trend. Okay, guys, that's how it works. But then you can see we had that blow off top up here. Okay, for Cardano, came down, rolled, <coughs> rolled under the EMAs and took down the EMA bearish cross with it. But we formed that bearish cross, we fell down, okay? Looked like we're going to oblivion. We hit some kind of support down here. And I, I would imagine if we drop a line in here now, I would say that that is a really, really strong level of support, guys, okay? So that's a really, really strong base, a really strong level of support for Cardano. Okay, moving on. But then you can see we formed this bet at bullish cross again, okay? So we formed that bullish cross. You know the power that we get when we form the bullish cross is gone right up, fell back on itself tested the emas before it marches on again guys okay so it's all about the emas the emas are the, the the best indicator in my my opinion so we are testing these as support and they're holding up really well we could probably potentially do with getting above the 20 ema here on the four hourly time frame for cardano versus bitcoin and you may potentially see that you may potentially see us come down to the 55 again bounce off get above back test the, the 20 like this so something like this back test it before it marches on again and you you can see what happens when it marches on okay guys so that's basically cardano versus bitcoin and, and that's it for this video guys i'm going to do another update on the other three dogs so do keep an eye on on that uh, in the channel and i will see you soon